Hey guys, I'm Mickey we're back here for the video guys. Welcome back to another episode of my daily snapping series. Let's get started with the way guys. Today I want to talk about going to be how much will Jerry Rice go for his limited time cards. Now a lot of people, the only reason I'm making a video about this one thing is because a lot of people ask me this question. So the limited time Jerry Rice is coming out this Saturday. If you guys do not did not see my video, pretty much this is the limited time cards coming out. Yesterday was Orlando Pace, today is Cliff Harris, tomorrow is Reggie White, then me and Joe Green, and then finally Jerry Rice. So all of them probably being a 96 overall, I would take a guess on. So what will his price be when he does come out? So a good representation of how much he'll go for is based on, you know, okay, what will his stats most likely be like? Now, if we go ahead and go to Mutthead, um, you will, I, we can actually see that his old card is a 92 overall. I believe it was like a Mutt Champions card or something like that. So there's not too much to go off of for this year. Other than that, he had a GOAT card, I believe. Um, sorry, Madden Classic card, yeah, 91 overall. He also had a GOAT card. So most likely, with this being a 96 overall, he'll probably get plus 2 or plus 3 to speed. Now, as you can see, Orlando Pace is about 400k, which I actually thought he was going to go for a little bit more, not going to lie. But nonetheless, we can guarantee Jerry Rice will probably have at least 92, 93 speed because his current card has 92 speed. Now, looking at that, he'll probably be in the same kind of boat as... Calvin Johnson. Her body has the same speed, same catching, pretty much the same stats all around. Maybe a little less spec catch, but same release pretty much, uh, same route running, same pretty much, sorry, better route running, probably better catching traffic and better jumping than Calvin. He might have 99 jumping, but nonetheless, he'll pretty much be an identical clone to Calvin Johnson Jr. So what will he go for? Well, he'll also be a 96 overall and he'll be in that kind of ballpark of Antonio Brown and Calvin. Now, the thing is, he will be limited time, which does actually mean something. What limited time means is that his price won't, because it won't be as many on the auction block and it won't be as easy to get the card, his price will kind of be dictated by people who pull him. So I will assume that his price, the first day, the whole entire first day, He'll be above 700,000 coins. I believe he'll be around this Antonio Brown prices. And then he'll probably drop down eventually down to like 690 to maybe like eight around 800k. Oh, I'm sorry, 700k. That's what I believe he will go down to. Now, I know he's Jerry Rice and it's like it's a 96 overall Jerry Rice. His price has to be like 6 million coins. And I just, realistically, I do not think he's going to go for that much. Um, could he go for a million, easily a million, and maybe like 1.2, 1.3? I just feel like he's going to be around, again, 800k, 700, 800k when he first comes out. Now, the reason why I say this is because of how easy people are pulling these limited time cards. For example, Orlando Pace, as you can see, there's a lot of them up on the auction block. And these limited time cards, since the, I think the playoff promo started, what we have seen with, with these, um, you know, limited time cards is they are pulled left, right, and center. I mean, I have seen people who have pulled three of them in a day. I've seen someone who pulled both limited time cards in the same hour. Actually, the, uh, my friend PJ pulled two limited time cards in the same hour. So again, they are pulled plentiful. So many, so many of uh, these limited time cards get pulled. What that means is that they are not as rare as limited time cards earlier this year or last year. So Jerry Rice, even though he is Jerry Rice and he's a 96 overall, I think he'll probably settle around 600 to 800,000 coins. I don't think he's going to be over a million. I don't think he's going to be some crazy, ridiculous price. Even though 700k is a lot to spend on one player. Not even going to lie. But he won't be this like crazy, crazy price that everyone I feel like is thinking. So I'm pretty sure if you have like 600 to 800k, you should be fine to get Jerry Rice. That's my personal opinion. And guys, remember he will be the limited time card Saturday. And you have to also assume that because he is the, probably the most highly sought after limited time card. Out of all the limited time cards this whole entire year, it's Jerry freaking Rice. He probably will have a lot of more people pulling for him in packs, which again will ending up causing his price to even go down lower. 
unless EA goes ahead and makes just Jerry Rice not as, you know, or more limited than any other limited time card, then there's always a chance that that doesn't happen. But I really do not think his price is going to be over a million. I think his price is going to be 600 to 800,000 coins. And I think it's going to settle at that value. That's just my personal opinion. Tell me down below what you guys think. Peace out, guys.